Alan Sahinovich, the specialist, will thump it away, sidewinding, end over end, and Columbia will touch it back in the end zone. Thin eight for Jadis in the offense. Across the line is Marshall Deutz from right to left. Second and eight from the 11. The snap, the rollout on the uh, option, running to the left. First down for Jake Jadis as he gets across the 40-yard line. Come back in the backfield, second and three from Cornell's own 30-yard line. Opening 340, and uh, this is the Big Red's first possession. Play fake Sean Bourne, he'll scramble to the near side right, he'll keep the football, and he will get angled out of bounds, finally pushed out of bounds, over midfield to the 45-yard line of Columbia. Quickly there, 6.01 in the quarter, the snap, Rogers puts it down, and Mays, who's got a big leg, will knock it through. Career best for the freshman. He is now two for two going back to last week. First and ten Columbia approaching four minutes to go down three to nothing. Back to throw is Morningwig and he's going to go down and it's J.J. Fives. He has been the sack master the last two weeks. Standing in the shotgun is Hill. He'll play fake. Tuck it in. Now he'll just sling it out. Incomplete. Some pressure in the backfield for Cornell. Nick Jeswaldi, the strong safety, had a line on the quarterback. Yeah, first down there. And good blocking as well. I believe that's Jordan Young who was uh, out there at wide receiver. Third and four. This is a important third down for Cornell. They're on 38-yard line. Snap. Handoff Hagee spinning through the center of the defense, and he should get the first down as he got it to, what, around the 44-yard line. They have two in the slot near side right. Handoff Molina running to the right. He'll get tackled by who else but Miles Narsh. He'll snap it from about the, what, 37-and-a-half-yard line, and again, they have committed to Hill in the stages here of the second half, second quarter. He steps, he throws, he hits his man Cameron Dunn, and Cameron Dunn Runs into a big red sandwich and coming up from the bottom of the hit, J.J. Fives. Red dropped two deep, two safeties deep, as he'll go back to throw. This is the last play of the half unless it's a penalty. Sails the ball deep into the end zone. It's going to be batted, tipped, incomplete. Cornell, Sean Scullin, isolate Kaplan, near side right, back to throw, Morningwood steps up against pressure, scrambling over midfield, will put his shoulders down, ball is dislodged, ball is loose, Big Red are saying they have the football, and yes, Seth Hope, sophomore defensive end, comes up with the football, they knocked it out from the quarterback, Morningwood, in the turnover category, it's plus one this afternoon, now for Cornell. Two forced fumbles last week against Dartmouth, helping to keep Cornell in that one, and this could be a huge shift for the Big Red, up 3-0. It's a third and seven as stated, 40-yard line of Cornell in the Columbia Lions. Morningwig in the gun, Molina to his right, looking over the middle, picked off by Cornell, swiped by Sean Scullin, angling down the crescent side, and the quarterback is gonna tackle him inside the 25-yard line. Emerging sophomore linebacker, moved from the secondary, Sean Scullin with his second career interception. Turnover number two for the Cornell defense this afternoon. Second straight Columbia drive ending in a turnover, and I think Morningwig just looked down his receiver since the snap of the ball. Scullin read Morningwig's eyes, and then was able to read the logo on the football because it came right to him. And a big run after the interception. That staggered formation, the toss left, toss it to Hagee. Thought it was going to be a halfback option. Hagee directing traffic at the 30, at the 25, at the 20. He spins and he gets out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Rodgers, you made the catch, will hold it. You're right, Jason. In between the 28 and the 29, inside the left hash, this would be a career best for this freshman. Columbia blocks the field goal attempt. Gobbled up inside the 30-yard line. Cullen, who comes back, he's just a sophomore, has made two impact plays for the Big Red. Molina back. Third and four stated. They're on 49-yard line. Columbia left to right in the final three minutes plus. Motion across the line. Back to throw. The quarterback fires, juggled. Is it picked off? Ball was initially juggled by Cameron Dunn. It went into the arms of a Cornell defensive back. And yes, it's going to be a big red swipe. You referenced Jeswaldi. 
Nick Jeswaldi, reigning Ivy League Rookie of the Year. That's the second swipe of the game for Cornell. Third forced turnover. And for Jeswaldi, his first of the season, but the fifth of his Cornell career, plus three. Third down, 16 line, 16 yard line of Cornell. In the shotgun hill. Snap, two yard drop. Pocket collapses, scrambling, scrambling, stumbling, stumbling, pushed out of bounds by Frimmel. He pushed him out beyond the 25-yard line, and if you're Al Bagnoli, what do you do now on fourth down? How do you feel about a 44-yard field goal attempt? Your kicker, Cameron Nislick, has hit a 40-yarder this season, one for three from between 40 and 49 yards, and they'll try it here. A 44-yard field. Nizelik, this junior from Chantilly, Virginia, sailing, sailing, not even close. Not even close to the right upright is Cameron Nizelik. Cornell denies Columbia. They dodge the tying three-point bullet. They will take over with 5.07 in the fourth quarter, and it remains Cornell 3, Columbia nothing. First and 10 for the Red, their own 26-yard line. Jadison at quarterback, and he will hand it off to the plowman. Pulling and pushing and tugging the football is one Jack Galatly. Took it from the 26, got it out to the 42. Biggest third down of the season for the Red. Third and five from the 42. Snap, Jadis running left, angling to the 45, to the 40, to the 35, to the 30, 25. First down on third down for Jake Jadis. This second year signal caller from Crown Point, Indiana has just been lights out running the football here in the fourth. Yeah, big red huddle waving at the crowd in the crescent. And uh, this is just a great, great memory for these 22 seniors as they are going to go out a winner at home in their final appearance at Chokoff Field. Final snap, Jadis will snap it, take the knee. And that will put the ball on this present, you should I'd say, for this Big Red senior class. And Cornell, the nine-game slide is over. Their first victory of 2015. They slugged it out in the trenches today, Jason, but Cornell gets its first W, hard-earned and well-earned. 3-0 over Columbia here today in the sixth annual Empire Bowl.